Box so every try set up channel. So this class we learn how to make this beautiful six pieces dress. So it's a six pieces dress and it does not have any joining at the waistline as we have seen. So it has this beautiful ready-made collar and it also has side pockets. Okay, if this is something you like to learn. Okay, so this is the pocket. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so we'll start by drafting our basic body. This is my ammo line, my boss points, my under bust, and my waistline. So this first line is a mistake. Okay, so that was why I cancelled it out. This is my actual waistline. So the next thing is to take my bust here. That so this is for a big size. So the nipple to nipple measurement is four and half. That's nine divided by four. Nine divided by two, four and half. So I mark four and half on the under bust and the waistline. Sorry, four and a half. Okay, on the waistline and the under bust, and then I'm going to mark it on the bust point as well. So depending on the type of that you want to work with, can be an arm oppressed that or a shoulder that. So for this, I think I'm going to be working with a shoulder that. So I'm going to take it out of one inch on both sides on my waistline and my hump on my and my under bust sorry and then i'm going to connect it like this so what we are doing basically is just drafting our basic bodies with our normal bust here that so here using my curve roller i'm going to connect the under bust to my bust point okay so now we need to decide the type of that we're going to work with. So I think I'm going to work with a shoulder that. So to do that, I'm going to measure what I have left on my shoulder. And I'm going to divide that by two. So after dividing it, I'm going to mark that point. And then from there, I'm going to connect it to my bust point. Like this. So here on my shoulder, I'm going to take a dot of one inch on both sides as well. And then I'm going to connect that to my bust point so like i said it's totally up to you you can also work with a ham who princess that i already have several tutorials on that already on the channel so all of this is also going to go off as my dad so what this means is that my shoulder now has a shortage of the two inches that that i took so now to replace this i'm going to measure two inches by extending my shoulder okay so now this shoulder line I'm going to extend it by two inches okay so once i have the two inches i'm going to stop and then we're going to redraw your our ham hole so you can actually take your ham hole now and redraw it like this or you can just keep measuring what you have here so here we have a shortage of one and a half so here you can measure the one and a half inches here we have one inch you can measure the one inch and then on this line i have about half an inch so I'm measuring the upper inch. So what this is just to replace all the shortage that we have. So you can see me adjusting my curve so that I can take my points together. So once I have them together, I'll redraw my arm hole line. I hope we're able to get all of that. Okay, let me just explain it. I think my camera did not capture it. So after taking my bust here, that remember that all of this that I'm going to cut it off. So cutting it off means that it's going to make my shoulder line have a shortage of whatever it is that I'm taking. So here I have a shortage of two inches. Remember this was where my dart stopped initially. So now because of the shortage of two inches that I have there. I extended the shoulder by two inches to replace this dart that I'm taking and then here I measured the shoulder that I have and I have one and a half so from my actual ham hole I measured the one and a half inches here as well here I, I have a shortage of one inch so on this side as well I marked the one inch and then on my ham hole line I have a shortage of half an inch so here I mark the half an inch and then using my curved ruler I connected all of the points together and then I redrew my arm book off. I hope we get that. So now the next thing is to take my circumference measurement. So here my bust is 44. 44 divided by 4 is 11. So I have 11 inches here. Okay. You can see because of the shortage is now here. So on my waistline, my waist is 38 inches. 38 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 9 and a half. So here I have 3 and a half. So I'm just going to 
continue my measurements and this is the nine and a half so i'm going to add my one and a half seam allowance or whatever seam allowance that you sew with and then i'm going to connect it okay okay so now i always work with both that so here for my boss that i'm going to go down by two inches and i'll connect that back to my arm my bust point and this is going to also go off so this is what i have for my front okay so for the back i'm going to be working with the same shoulder that as well and then i'm going to draft my back panel so for the back i have my basic body strap set as well this is my zipper allowance and then i already took my waist that so i'm going to be working with a shoulder that so the same way i divided my dart here i'm going to divide what i have here as well and i'm going to connect that to my shoulder point okay okay so you can take a dart of like quarter of an inch on both sides to tighten it as well or you can just leave it as it is so the next thing is to take my circumference measurement so here i'm going to take a my my bust is 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches so i'm going to measure the 11 inches here and then here i'm working with nine and a half so i have about three and quarter so i'm just going to shift my tape and complete the nine and a half inches then i'm going to add my seam allowance of one and a half inches on both side okay so after that i'm going to connect them together so these are my pattern pieces this is the front and this is the back so now i'm going to slash it open now and then we're going to modify this to form our six pieces dress okay so this dress is not going to be having any joining on the shoulder line and i'm going to be transferring it directly on my fabric so if you want to do it on a paper first it's also okay but i'm just going to place it on my fabric and then i'm going to show us how we're going to modify this to form our six pieces so you can see that we are cutting off this shoulder now okay so because we have added because we have extended our shoulder line we're not going to be having any shortage so now i'm going to close my bust that as well and then i'm going to cut the back also so this is my back and i've also removed my that as you can see so i'll be mixing two separate ankara for this i'll be using a separate ankara for my center food where i'm going to be using separate one for the side as well so i'm using this for the center where i'm going to be using this other one for this side so i'll cut the center first so i'm going to fold my fabric into two to be on fold okay so i have put my fabric on fold by two as you can see so this is my center front okay and this is this fold point so now this fold point i'm going to be putting it on the folded area here so now the full gun length that i'm working with is 41 inches so i'm going to add two inches m allowance to that that's going to leave me with 43 inches so now from the hem because i want the surface area to be on the hem i'm going to measure the 43 inches upwards like this and then i'm going to mark the point where my 43 inches stops i hope my camera is able to capture all of this so i'm, I'm measuring 43 inches from the hem and then it stops here so i'm going to mark where my 43 inches stops and that is where i'm going to place my paper on okay so it stops here i'm going to place this paper on this starting point and then i'm just going to hold it with my pen okay Okay. so this is what I have and I'm going to hold it down as well so now depending on how flare, how full you want the hem of this brows to be on fold I'm going to be working with 8 inches which means by the time I open it out for each of my pieces the hem is going to be 16 inches remember this is going to be a 6 pieces so if I'm working with eight inches for this particular one on fold and then i multiply it by two by the time i open it and remember this is just one side of the front so by the time you open it it's going to be 16 so that's going to be 16 inches for each of my fold and then we have six pieces that makes the m of your dress by the time you are through is going to be 16 inches for each of the 
part each of the pieces multiply by six inches so this is one way you can calculate your fabric to know if you're going to have enough fabric so if you don't have enough fabric you can just use maybe seven inches and if you use seven inches and then you multiply that by two by the time you open it up you have 14 inches you can also use 16 inches you can use 10 inches depending on how full you want it to be on the lower part and the amount of fabric you have to work with so now what i'm going to do now is to measure this eight inches on the hem of my dress okay so this is my hem now i'm going to measure i hope you can see it okay so this is the hem so now from the center fold i'm going to measure the eight inches okay so i have eight inches here so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect diagonally from where my body stops here in it using a ruler i'm going to connect it diagonally to the 18 inches mark that i have here and that's going to form the first piece for me okay so i've connected this you can see this is where my waistline stops and then from there i just connected this diagonally to the hem so now when i'm cutting this i'm going to be having half an inch allowance so you can see i just extended this by half an inch here before i did my connection Okay, so let me bring it down a little bit so i extended it by half an inch because of the allowance and then from there that was where i started connecting to the hem so here now when i'm cutting i'm going to add like half an inch extra here to cut out my body so i'll cut this out now and then i'm going to show us how we're going to cut the side as well so i have cut out my first piece you can see my allowance that i left there and then you can see that i connected it in a diagonal form to go and meet the eight inches mark that i marked here so now i'm going to set this aside now and cut the center back as well so for the back i folded my fabric into two again and here i'm just going to extend it a bit to meet the half an inch that i'm going to use for my seam allowance for the dust area so from there i'll go over to the hem and measure another eight inches okay so here on the hem i'm going to measure another eight inches but because there's going to be a one inch allowance for my for my zipper i'm going to measure nine inches as against the eight inches that i measured earlier okay and then from here i'm going to connect it diagonally to the hem so i've connected it as you can see and then from the zipper allowance here i'll go i'm going to connect that to the hem as well so now after that i'm going to take my scissors so i'm doing this because i want my center back to be straight if you want your center back to be in form of a flare you are going to leave an allowance before you place it so you will see that difference by the time we start cutting the side so here now i'm just going to include my half an inch allowance on the side on the that line as well and then i'm going to cut it out so for the center back because i included a waist that a bust that of two inches for my front so my length remember when i wanted to measure for the front i measured 43 inches but for the center back i measured 41 inch inches i subtracted the two inches that that i deducted from the front so i don't want us to get confused if you are not working with a bust that like me you just need to use the same measurement for your front and back but because i took a two inches that for the front that's why i deducted that two inches that length from my from my front from my back panel so after cutting the center back this is where it looks like this is the zipper area and this is the full view so now i'm just going to notch this part so that i'll know this is my zipper area and i'm not going to get confused so now we're going to cut the sides so for the two sides i'm using this fabric so the first thing you're going to do is to get the length just like we measured for the center foot so you get your length once you have your length you're going to mark it as your starting point and then i'm going to place my pattern so now because this is not the front remember when we were cutting the front it was on foot so for the side you're going to be cutting the two sides together which means you're going to be having flare on both sides you're going to have a flare on this side or you're going to have a flare on this side as well or like the center foot for the center front you can see that this part is already on foot so we're not going to be including any flare our flare was just on 
on one side so for this you're going to be having a flare on this side as well as this side depending on the amount of fabric you have to work with remember we're working with eight inches so the first thing you need to do is to measure the eight inches but i really don't want this to be too big so i'm just measuring around five inches okay from my fold point here i'm measuring five inches and then i'm going to make it into a straight line which is the line that you see here so after measuring the straight line i'm going to place my pattern in such a way that my waistline remember the flare is going to start from the waist matches up with this straight line that i have because that is what i'm going to connect diagonally to the hem so now after make, making sure of that i'm going to pin it in place so after pinning it on the other side as well i'm going to measure around five inches as well okay and then i'm going to take it to the hem so after measuring both sides the next thing you're going to do is to connect from your waistline all the way to the hem line both sides diagonally so i'll place my tape now and then i'm going to mark the strategic points and then i'll use my ruler to connect all of them together on both sides so on this other side as well i'm going to mark it and then connect so that i can have my flare in both on both sides so this is the same thing you're going to do for the back as well okay so you can see how i connected from here all the way to the hem diagonally and then on this side i did the same thing so here i just extended by half an inch because i want to have an half an inch allowance here all around so now after connecting like this next thing is to take my scissors and then i'll cut this pattern out cut out the pattern you can see my seam allowance now and this is what it looks like okay so if you want yours to be really big instead of measuring the five inches you can maintain the eight inches that we started first and then on that point you are going to place your waistline and then you make sure eight inches outwards like this but this is for a big person so i don't want it to be too big that was why i just maintained what i have here so the same thing is what i'm going to do for the back i'm going to put it on fold and then i'm going to measure five inches before placing my waistline okay so for the back this is the back just like i did for the front i measured my five inches and then i matched up my waistline with it like this and then from here also i measured five inches extension outward so i just connected it to the two sides and then i added my allowance on this part so i did not have any allowance on my shoulder because i already had an excess allowance on the hem so now because remember i was talking okay so i was talking about the difference in length because of the bust that that we closed remember we closed a bust that here okay so that's going to be different in length for the front and back i don't want us to be confused so a way we can reconcile this after cutting it off like this before you start to sew you can place them against each other that's the side you're going to sew remember i'll be sewing the center front to the side front so i'm going to match up my my under bust area like this then after matching it up what I'm going to do next is to connect this downwards. So once you connect it downwards and you have any excess, the excess that you have there, you're just going to trim it off. So that's going to reconcile the length for you. But if you are not working with a bust that you're not going to run into this problem. So you just need to cut them exactly the same with the same length. So your under bust area is very, very important. You can just decide to place a notch there on your under bust so the same thing i did here okay you can also do for the back but i don't have any problem with the back because i use the same length measurement for the side front and the side back so they will definitely match by the time i'm sewing them so the next thing is to remove your pins now and then you start to sew them together okay so after removing my pin i have my pieces now this to this side and this side is going to go with this side i'm not going to be fixing a lining to this so if you're going to fix your lining to yours you're going to cut your lining exactly the same way so i'll go ahead now and start to sew this on my sewing machine so i'm just going to pin it down before i sew so i have my notches already on my under bust area so i'm going to match them up together and then pin so i'll sew the front together as well as the back this is the back for the back you're not going to have any issue with the length because we use the same length for the back there's no bust at the back so we do not have any bust that so matching it together now you will see that they will have to be on the same point so i'm matching the side front and center front together and then you can see that i have exactly the same thing 
so i'll go ahead now and remove my pins also for the back and then i'm going to join the center back to the side back on both sides remember we have a zipper going through here which means we will have two separate pieces for the back okay so i've gone ahead to join them together this is the front pieces okay so you can see it is sewn together i can see the amount of flare that i have here is moderate so this is what i was saying because i notched my my underboss so i started sewing from underboss so by the time i finished sewing i had this difference so i'm just going to trim it off so this is what i have for the front and then i piped the that line with this trimming that i have so i just placed this in between the two and then i sew them together because i just wanted to have that silver touch that i have on this trimming so i did the same thing for both the front and this is the back so if you don't know how to pipe with trimmings you can let me know in the comment section then i'll do a diy video on how you can do that but it's very simple you just place them in between each other and then you sew so this is the back and this is the flare that i have on the back as well so this is going to be the opening for my zipper so the next thing i'm going to do now is to lay the front and back on each other and then i'm going to sew it on the shoulder as well as the side before we work on the neckline so i've gone to sew it together now and this is what i have so the next thing now is to work on my collar so i'm going to be using this ready-made collar there are several types there are some that come with a collar stand and there are some that comes like this so this just comes like this so i can fix it like this or i can just create my color stand if i want it to have a color stand and then i'm just going to input this color in the color stand so whichever one you want to work with is fine so it's very small it's not actually my neckline size so i'm going to be working with the color stand so this color stand i'm going to be using this ankara to make the color stand and i'm going to input this color inside it so to create this color stand i'm going to measure around okay so i'm going to measure around what i have on my neckline and after measuring it i have about 22 inches so i'm going to use that to create like a bishop collar okay which is what i have so i have two of each one for the main bodies and one for the lining so this upper part here is where i'm going to insert the ready-made collar so i'm just going to notch the center so that it can guide me on how i'm going to insert it so after notching my center on both sides i'm going to lay the collar like this and then i'm going to so this is what i want by the time i am done so i'm just going to place it from the center part like this and then i'm going to sew it so the other one i'm going to place it as well then I'm going to cover it up with my lining and then after covering it up with the lining I will sew it on this upper part I hope you can see that I'm going to sew it so that by the time I flip it it's going to be joined together and then this lower part I'm going to sew with my neckline I hope you understand that so this is my bishop collar I have notched the midpoint so what I'm going to do on this upper part this is the lower part the one I'm sewing to my bodies this is the upper part so on this upper part here, I'm going to place this ready-made collar like this so I'll look for the one that corresponds with each other and then this other one i'm going to place it here like this so after placing it i'm going to place my lining and then i'm going to sew it together so that the rough edges will be neatly finished then after turning it out i'm going to sew the other one to my neckline so i have fixed the collar as you can see it is neatly fixed now and i went ahead to just sew a basic sleeve to it so i already fixed my zipper at the back as well so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like so all the rough edges that you have in words you just need to weave it or if you don't want any rough edges you can decide to just line it with a lining or another fabric so i'll take this to the mannequin now to see what this looks like okay so this is what it looks like on the mannequin you can see our shoulder that and the trimming that i used to pipe this added that line so this is the ready-made color that we fixed to it and 
I also fixed a side pocket. So I decided to fix this pocket by this side. It's a very simple pocket. And I already have a tutorial on how you can fix a side pocket on the channel. So if you don't know how to fix it, you can check that out. So this is a six pieces dress. And you can see that the flare starts from the waistline. So this is what I have. I hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me. If you enjoyed it, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.